Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that the U.S. military said that a Chinese military plane came within 20 feet, almost 6 meters of the nose of a U.S. Air Force aircraft in the region of South China Sea. This happened in the last week and it forced the U.S. aircraft to make an evasive maneuver to avoid the collision in the international airspace. The U.S. also said that this uh, behavior by Chinese military aircraft was increasingly dangerous. The incident involved the Chinese Navy J-11 fighter jets and the U.S. Air Force RC-135 aircraft and this event took place on December 21st, the U.S. military said in a statement. The Chinese embassy didn't comment or gave any response to the uh, statement given by the uh, U.S. Uh, the U.S. said that we expect all the countries in the Indo-Pacific region to use international airspace safely and in accordance with the international law. Recently, the Chinese have said that the United States is sending warships and aircraft in the South China Sea and this is not good for the peace and for the regional stability. U.S. has number of uh, spy planes and the ships which routinely carry out the surveillance operations and they travel through the region of South China Sea. The areas which are claimed by the China and the South China Sea uh, basically overlap with the exclusive economic zone of Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Indonesia and the Philippines. The trade volume is in trillions of dollars which every year through the waterways which also contain rich fishing grounds and gas fields in the South China Sea. In the last month in November, the US Secretary Defense Secretary basically raised the need to improve the crisis communication and he basically also noted that uh, what he called dangerous behavior by Chinese military planes. US wants to keep the lines of communication open with the Chinese so that they can avoid a risk of potential flare-ups or deal with any accidents. Basically, there was another incident in the June uh, in this year when the Australia Defense Department basically said that a Chinese fighter jet aircraft dangerously intercepted an Australian military surveillance plane in the South China Sea region basically in the month of May. Australia said at that time that the Chinese jet flew so close in front of the Royal Air Force of the Australian aircraft and released a bundle of chaff which contained small pieces of aluminium that uh, basically damaged the Australian aircraft engine. Then in the month of June, the, Ch- the Canadian military accused Chinese warplanes of harassing its patrol aircraft as they monitored North Korean sanctions evasions, sometimes forcing Canadian planes to divert from their flight paths. The relationship between the US and the China has become so much dense and there is a lot of friction between the two uh, superpowers in the world. Basically, both are the largest economies in the world and the conflict between them are over the issues of Taiwan as well as Chinese human rights records and basically Chinese military activities in the South China Sea. But at the same time, the US is uh, basically maintaining its military presence and also help the regional countries, the allies, with upgrading their uh, basically weapons and the military equipments. And the US is providing state-of-the-art aircraft surveillance equipments as well as other weapons to its allies in this region of South China Sea. Basically, the relationship between the China and US became much more strained after the visit of the Nancy Pelosi, who is basically the US host speaker. And she made a trip to the Taiwan in August, which infuriated the Chinese. The Chinese become infuriated and then they basically saw this as the US attempt to interfere in the internal affairs of the Chinese. After that, the China basically started the simulation exercises around the Taiwan and uh, made the largest military drills in the history of the China near the island of Taiwan. US basically considered the one China policy and considered the Chinese government as the only recognized government but at the same time US also is bound by a law where which the US passed to provide the Taiwan with the means to defend itself and the US is already providing all sort of weapons and upgrading the F-16s of the Taiwan Air Force as well as providing them the Harpoon missiles which is strengthening the Navy of the Taiwan. So the US uh, has no formal diplomatic relation with the Taiwan but still it is bound by a law to defend the Taiwan. So there is also basically an ambiguity in the U.S. policy when it's about China and Taiwan. So friend, this was uh, today's podcast. I hope you liked today's podcast. If you have any comment, please write it down. Thank you for listening. Hello friends and welcome to Global Defense. In today's episode, we are going to discuss that the U.S. military...